if you let somebody who has no experience drive your jet ski and if something happened to him, you would be responsible. I'm just letting you know. Sure, but I didn't just know that you he know. wasn't driving. It doesn't matter. Okay. That's your fault. Okay, I don't agree. That's your, I'm telling you, it's your okay. fault. If he had an accident on the jet ski and he was seriously injured, his mother would sue you and win. His girlfriend was just in this. Just pay attention okay. to my mouth. Okay. Turn off, turn off your mouth. Okay. On with the ears. If he had an accident on a jet ski in your house. Yes. And he was hurt badly or worse, his parents would sue you. Correct. And they would win. Correct. So it's your fault. What I'm telling you, it's maybe his fault because he's an idiot. <laughs> but he's an idiot. But when I tell you that you, when you have a 16, 17, 18, 19 year old kid out on jet skis, I know, I just came from a vacation with my grandchildren, they all act like idiots. Yes, yes. Even some of them who are 50 yes. act like idiots. Yes. So the reason I asked you all those questions about finances is you came out ahead of the game on this one. You're suing him for your insurance deductible, you're suing him for picking up one of the jet skis. You bought the jet skis, you paid $3,000 for the jet skis because you got a whole bunch of other accoutrements with it. They're 20 years old. Insurance company gave you $1,500. You still have the jet skis. Can and you I still explain? have, and you still, no. Okay. That's nothing to explain. Uh -oh. That's simple math. Okay. That's math. Okay. So I don't feel terrible for you because you actually came out a winner. Correct. Right. You want to be a super winner. Well, so, I pay insurance premiums. So you want to have jet skis and teenage grandchildren driving them? You pay premiums. You have a house at the lake. You have homeowner's insurance. <laughs> then you pay premiums on a jet ski. Sure. And if the insurance company says, do you have jet skis, they're going to increase your insurance. Yes. Of course. I know. Been there. Mm -hmm. But I, you see, if I had one of my grandchildren who had a friend over and they acted irresponsibly and they even they were negligent in causing an accident, I wouldn't sue them. You sort of take that on with the task of allowing 17-year-olds and 16-year-olds and 15-year-olds to invite young friends over and use your jet skis, that there's going to be an accident. I may feel differently and a little more sympathetic if you bought jet skis for $5,000 and they were brand new and they were damaged. But you bought 20-year-old jet skis. You got most of your money back. You had three years' worth of enjoyment with them with your family. So I don't feel so terrible for you. You want to stand up and tell me what happened? Yeah. Fast. You're the grandson. Yep, so what happened is we were out there. My girlfriend was behind me. They first left. Your girlfriend was behind you on the same jet ski? Yes. OK. Um, his girlfriend was in front of him. They took off first. They were riding around. He was getting the feel for the jet skis. Then we got mine going, went out in the lake. And then we were riding around for probably five, 10 minutes. Then me and my girlfriend were just sitting in the water. We were talking. And then Dylan was driving towards us. I was assuming he's either going to splash us or he was going to talk to us or something. But instead of, you know, stopping, he ended up just hitting our front end. When, you think uh, he did that on purpose? He didn't. You think he did that because he was an inexperienced driver? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, because if he did it on purpose, then he would have fallen off and the girlfriend would have fallen off, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. So to avoid uh, getting actually hit by his jet ski, I lifted up the front end, which is why the damage is under the jet ski. So if you want the pictures, we have it. I'm not interested. We, we got hit from behind under, and then his nose crunched into our bottom. And then I got a little um, cut up. His girlfriend got bruised in her thighs from the impact, mm -hmm. made sure everyone was OK. We went back. And nobody sued your grandmother? Nope. Your girlfriend didn't sue your grandmother under her homeowners? His girlfriend didn't sue your grandmother under her homeowners? That's really nice of them, right? Yes. Mm, your case is dismissed. We're done.